Well, howdy. I'm Infinity Solstice Bright Wizard of Destiny. Welcome to the gallery at Go Organic Sports Ranch. So beside me, I have a man-woman t-shirt called Friends of the Swastika. So uh, to hell with Hitler. The swastika has been a symbol of good luck since time immemorial. Here we have a Hopi swastika, a Jain swastika, Buddhist swastika, Jewish, Greek, Lapland, Hindu, Celt, China, Ceylon, Tibet, Japan, Christian, swastikas from all over the world. Friends of the swastika. So that was one of man woman's early tasks, was to detoxify the swastika. So there you have it. It's been around for a long time. Okay, well this video blog is called Bug Kill Pine. Fifteen years ago, a little bug invaded the Columbia Valley and proceeded to bore into an amazing number of lodgepole pine trees here and everywhere else in BC and eat the inner bark, the layer that feeds the tree water and nutrients, until the inner bark is all chewed out, not allowing the flow of sap anymore, and then a blue stained fungus kills the tree, and they become standing dead. Here in my ranch, there's an amazing mixed forest, fir, cedar, spruce, aspen, some birch, and just a few healthy pine trees that the invading pine beetle missed. And the forest is thick, and now all the dead pine trees are falling over, and most get hung up in other trees. So I have been recovering them for firewood over the years. And even after all these years, these pine trees are mostly sound and solid and make fine firewood. The bark has fallen off, so the trees have been drying for years. Towards the base of the dead pine, the bark can be thick, so sometimes the wood is rotten there, but overall the wood is really perfect for firewood. My son Talon and I, after the bug struck, fell all the standing dead pine that could possibly fall and hurt flyaway discers. And all of a sudden we started to notice other dead trees in the flyaway disc park beside the bug kill pine, and they had to be dealt with. It's amazing how the forest thins itself. I'm always on the lookout for dead or dying trees. And for the last 20 years, I've gotten all my firewood off the flyaway disc park. And after all those years, I still find more dead trees every year. Below the, below the disc park towards the river is an old forest that I haven't found too much evidence of it having been logged, as it must have been burnt in the fire of the late 1920s when the entire valley on this side of the river on this side of the columbia river burnt there's a lot of spruce trees in this area and they're getting rather large and amazingly tall now i'm thinking of making a forest maze out of this forest by joining up a bunch of trails through the trees and have and have any forest bathers that come to the ranch check it out as they cruise through the forest to enjoy the maze of trails and all the magnificent trees to see and feel a forest up real close. Compared to these huge trees, we humans seem so small and insignificant. It's hard to believe the havoc we tiny folk have wreaked upon this, the forests of the world. We humans with the help of our chainsaws, of course. What we need is more fully functioning forests. I've even, I've even composed a song about the subject and have called it Fully Functioning Forest. Check it out. It's out there in, in uh, internet land. Anyway, what we need are more fully functioning forests. I'm Infinity Solstice, Bright Wizard of Destiny. Over and out.